Hey guys, welcome back for another Farming Simulator video. I'm Farmer Charlie and this is my video where I'll be going through my recommendations when starting out a new game. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this is my combine and this is the one you get at the start of the game. As you can see it's chopping down some soybeans at the moment and they are the best crop at the start uh, based on the equipment that you've got available. So my first tip is definitely to plant all of your fields in soybeans and it's a continuous process of just harvesting them, cultivating them, sowing the next crop. This is the way that you're going to be able to really progress in the game and make as much progress early on as possible. So getting on to the other equipment you've got in the game at the start, obviously you've got this combine as we've mentioned already. You've also got a cultivator and you have your seeder. Now this is the cultivator here just moving into position. This will churn up the ground for you, making it ready to apply the seeds. And this is something at the start that you want to be following your combine round with quite closely in order to get as much of a crop as you can. As you can see, a lot of the equipment you've got at the start is narrow, so it is going to take quite a bit of time to cover the surface at the start, but that's something we'll get onto in a minute when I get onto my buying recommendations for you. And this is your seeder here. Um, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, there's a picture of the soybeans. Uh, if you click on that a few times, you will be able to scroll through and see all the different types of seed that you've got available. Now, my next recommendation when starting out on this game is to keep a close eye on the prices of the grains and all of the commodities you have. Now, as you can see, you can start to get an idea of what you've got here at the start of the game you do actually have some grains already in your silo ready to be sold this can be of benefit now you want to be looking out for when the prices are high this is my next tip look out for when the prices are high and sell them at that point now also when the prices are high you want to be slowing down your speed to real time this will allow you to sell a lot more of your commodity when it's in demand when it's in demand, it'll have that blue mark by it there that you see by the canola there. And that basically just means that it's got an increased price for a limited amount of time. So when those come up, that's really when you want to be cashing in on your commodities. So what I tend to do is store them up and wait for those in demand moments. You'll get a notification in the top right hand side of the screen when that is the case. Uh, and that is the time that you want to be making the most of it and selling those crops. So my next tip for Farming Simulator 20 is to make sure you're buying the right stuff from the shop, the right equipment to make it as easy as possible to progress in the game as fast as possible. So my first recommendation above anything else is to buy yourself a fertilizer spreader. Now this will give you 50% extra when it comes to harvesting your crops. Now the moment that is the main way you're going to be making any money is through your crops. So you've got two in the store. The cheaper one is the one that I tend to go for at this stage because money is tight and they, there's not actually a lot of difference between the two models at this point. The second thing to be doing is going to be to upgrade your other equipment. So we're talking about your seeder and your harvester. As soon as possible in the game, really, you want to be covering the ground much faster. So the only way to do that is by getting equipment which covers a wider area, both in terms of your seeders and the harvesters, as mentioned. Now, when you look at the seeders, there are a few different options. Now, it will depend how much money you have as to which you want to go for. There's this model, which will take away the need to plough the land as well, because this will do the same job. So it ploughs as well as seeds. These are the types of seeders you really be, want to be looking at to save you time in the game. So you've got this one in the middle here and the one on the previous screen on the right hand side. 
this condor really is the one that you want to be working towards eventually as it just covers such a vast amount of ground but it will depend on how much money you've got as to which model you can go for one thing to bear in mind with them as well is that some of them do fertilize the land at the same time so it's all saving you a job next thing to look at definitely the harvesters now these are expensive but they are the thing that is going to progress your game so much faster than anything else once you've got them both this and the cedar you can cover so much more land i mean you're looking at this this header here it's going to be covering so much more than the the one you've got at the moment it covers 13.7 meters now there are four combines in the store the first one is the one that you get at the start of the game the second one is a bit of an upgrade but the the third and the fourth ones really are the ones you want to be looking at because they will help you progress further without wasting money now the next thing to look at is buying land that is my next recommendation once you've got all your equipment sorted you're able to cover the land quickly this is the point to buy the land and you do that by pressing on the bit of land you want to buy on the map and it will come up at the bottom there so you can buy that next strip there for 101,000. Now you can also, a little tip, is to buy the land when it is ready to harvest if you can. So it's already ready with a crop for you to go and just take off and it just saves you a bit of extra work. Now my final tip is to avoid livestock at the start of this game. It's certainly a trap that I've fallen into. It just takes up so much of an initial investment. You've got your water tanker, or milk tanker rather, you've got your livestock trailer. Now that doesn't come to too much, but when you factor in the fact you're going to need a mower, you're going to need a tedder, you're going to need either a baler or a forage wagon in order to provide the hay and the the hay, the grass, the straw. It comes to over 180,000 and that's money that could much better be invested in your combine at the start of the game. And this doesn't even include the money that it's going to take to actually buy the livestock. Now, I would encourage you though to get into livestock, but just not at the start of the game. Get your machinery all up to grade, get a bit of land, even if it's just one extra field from the start. And then at that point, you'll be able to make the money to properly invest in the livestock you want to go for. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for joining me for this video. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for my next video, which will be focused around getting your cows up and running and making hay and straw for them. Thanks for watching and keep on farming.